I want to talk to you about your trillions of invisible little friends that you're sharing your body with. Uh. Microbes. It's pretty well known now that microbes are the enablers, igniters, and devourers of life in this plane of material existence. Even our mitochondria, which are the powerhouses of our cells, were originally bacteria. Tiny clumps of living force, which kind of crawled into lifeless matter, decided that it liked it there, and ignited matter into activity. And consciousness? But they're everywhere. All through you, all over you. Bacteria, yeasts, fungi, parasites, little friends, or little buggers. But basically, without microbes, there's no link between matter and life. Call it spirit, call it soul, call it electricity, call it consciousness, call it fire mist, call it light, call it God stuff, call it whatever you want, whatever makes you most comfortable. But without it, and without the link between it and matter, matter becomes senseless and life becomes vague, amorphous, shapeless. And we humans, who are a splendid merging of life and matter, perish. We simply cease to be. So microbes are kind of like the middlemen, the combiners, the glue that sticks us to our bodies. And they're pretty miraculous. They devour, dividing things up into smaller and smaller parts. They transform, converting these parts and changing their form. And they also build, combining these parts in new and unique configurations, responding to and shaping the environment that they are in. In short, microbes are the givers, the sustainers, and the destroyers of life. And again, they can be your best friend, or they can be the cause of your demise. Now, <laughs> you might be wondering, what is that girl on about? Is she being spiritual or is she being legit? Woohoo! Let me tell you, I'm being both of those things and more. I mean what I'm saying in the most deeply scientific and the most profoundly spiritual way imaginable. If you want to find out what I'm on about, unlock the mysteries of your biology and unlock the secrets of life itself, if you have but the eyes to see, the ears to hear, the heart to comprehend, and the wisdom to penetrate beyond the words I'm using, you'd better watch my next video. It'll be out soon and linked below as soon as it's ready for you. Happy microbes. Happy life.